Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another full gameplay. This one is gonna be another very, very. But why is this? Why is it telling me to do this? I, I don't want that. I do not want that. I'm sorry, but no, thank you. I want this, and I want. Uh, I kind of just want. I want to get the mask. I think the mask is pretty good, but I also really want to work towards this. You know what? I might as well just get the. Actually, no, that's not. That's not good. I'll get two of these. I'll get boots, and I'll get a lot of pots. Alright guys, so once again, like I was saying, welcome to a very special full game commentary. This one is going to be on the PBE, but this is not this is not just any PBE game, and this is not just any Howling Abyss game. This is a very special one because it's a new game mode that is being released specifically for the Snow, snow Showdown or Showdown Snowdown or something like that. I forgot what it's called, but that's not AP Varus, is that okay? Good, it's not. But this is actually called Portal King. Now, this is interesting mode. I actually played it once and let me quickly go over it. So first of all you see everyone has portals flying or uh, walking behind them. Now the portals change depending on the summoner icon that you chose to use out of the five available which all have different portals. Pretty cool. Also uh, you have a new summoner spells and these are the only two that you can choose from. Uh, so the first one that you do is you actually throw the portals behind you and it goes about this range. You can see on the edge of the mini map right here. It goes about that far. And hitting people with this par, which I don't use actually right now because I should be hitting people, is super important because one of the right here you can see where our mouse is beside the score. It says six out of ten and seven out of ten. It's very important to get ten out of ten, and you get a point every single time your paro hits an enemy champion. Once you get to ten points on your team, you summon the paro king, which I think they're summoning now. And this thing is pretty strong. You can pretty much uh, use your F ability, which teleports to this Poro King. It has a lot of HP. It just simply pushes forward. It shoots small Poros out. It heals enemy or allied you know, champions around it. And um, overall, it's just annoying to deal with and has quite a bit of HP. You can see it's uh, quite tanky, you know, quite difficult to kill. Let me just go ahead and uh, wait for that. Did we summon the Poro? I thought we summoned the Poro King. Wait, what? Okay, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, we have 8 points. Okay, what am I saying? We have 8 points. That's. I hit someone, that's 9 points. Now watch, I can kill him. Watch. Boom. See? I, okay, that was pretty messy. But I was just trying to show what happens is if you hit the champion with the Poro, not only do you get a point for your team to uh, get closer to summoning the Poro King, but you can reactivate and pretty much fly towards the champion that you hit. Now, that's huge because it's pretty big for assassins and you can make a lot of sweet jukes and plays with that as well. So. You saw that I hit the, what is it, Callista, I think, and then as I hit her, I can reactivate the D, I flew right to her, and then bam, I could just continue on my assault. And again, if the Portal King is summoned, you can just press F and bam, look at that, I teleport right into the battle. Um, that was actually pretty far. I'm not, I'm not sure what the range is, I'm not even sure if it's global, because this is actually my second time playing it, but let me feed my Portals quickly. Just click this button right here. Feed my Portals a little bit. And um, that's, a, that's pretty much how this game works, and I mean, it's just the first team to kill the, oops, that was an accident, oops. Uh, to kill the enemy team's uh, Nexus. So, Katarina's pretty good on this, I think. I'll just go ahead and throw my Poro. Can I hit someone? Oh, I don't think I hit anyone. That's bad. So, they have, they're about to summon the Poro King. That's not good. They're gonna have to get ready to defend that. And uh, there it comes. It's kind of like a Pantheon Ultimate. Act. <laughs> Actually, it drops exactly like Pantheon. I just realized. Oh man, that's pretty funny. So, the Poro King looks pretty cool. He's got like a big crown on himself and everything. It looks like, you know, like a true king. I like it. So, they're actually doing pretty good. They have quite a bit of range to salt, so that's why it's a little troublesome over here. Once I get my ultimate and my hourglass, maybe I can make plays. Do I get any gold? I get 40 gold for killing him. Which I guess is okay. Let me just throw my. Oh my goodness, I missed. I, com I completely missed. I can't believe I missed. Let's go ahead and throw my Q. Oh, he hit something. Wow, they're already ahead of us in points. We need to really start catching up on points because they're gonna get another Pearl King before we can even get anything. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I just got sniped so hard by that Varus. Oh man. Alright, um, let me see. What do I want to get? I kind of want to get this. Start working towards that Hourglass. Super, super good item on this. Because I can go in, I can do a lot of damage, I can pop the Hourglass, my team can hopefully rush in, and I can just continue on the assault. But now I'm trying to land my Pearl onto uh, the Callista. Oh, by the way, the Pearl also does a bit of true damage. Not that much, I think. It does a bit of true damage, I believe. So, nothing too major, but why not? Oh, nice. Alright. There we go. Alright, that's more like it. That's what I want to see. Nice. Good, good, good. I got my ultimate in the middle of that fight. So I ended up uh, leveling it up and then using it and uh, cleaning up that fight. So that was pretty cool. I like that. Let me get this uh, tower with my team here. Looks like that's AP Cogma, but that's okay. Uh, I 
I don't think she hit anyone. Let me throw mine. Oh, I hit her. Oh, we a lot of people hit her. I think two people hit her, which is good. I'm not gonna reactivate it, of course, because I mean, why would I do that? I'll just go right under the tower. And I don't want to be under the tower. So we're now... Oh my goodness, they summoned another Portal King, which is bad. Okay, Braum is using his uh, little move here. So I want to play safe. I'm not... Again, you know, I'm Katarina. Pretty obvious what I need to do. I need to just play safe, wait for the opportunity. I don't think my power... No, my power did not hit. I mean, usually you can tell if your power hit anyone or not. I mean, because, you know, it will reactivate so that you uh, teleport to that person. So if you throw it and you don't see it reactivate, then, you know, you're 100% sure that your power did not hit anyone or any anything. Well, you actually, you can hit something. But can you hit something? Can you... Or does it only work on minions? Or, uh... No, I think it only works on champions. At least the teleport. I'm not really sure. How did I not hit anyone? Oh my god. I need to get out of here. That was pretty bad. I could have played that a bit better, I think. Well, that was pretty good damage on my part there. So if I just chill here for a bit, uh, I think I can clean this up pretty well. Like right now. Oh, okay. Or that. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. So the Malzahar still has ultimate. That was actually the only thing I was worried about. I was really worried about Malzahar ultimate this game. And that's exactly why. So he looks... Oh my goodness, they're so squish. It's those times where I just kind of wish I was just right there, man. I can clean it up so hard and so fast. But that's okay. So we're actually one portal away from summoning the Portal King. And we're actually doing pretty good considering they've had, I think, like three Portal Kings. Well, we've had, what, one, I think? But uh, can someone... Someone has to hit that as here right now with the portal. Please. Oh wow, Azir can yeah he can summon that stuff here too. That's pretty cool. The turret. Oh my god, I missed. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We summoned it anyway. All right. Uh, I'm gonna wait in here. Uh, maybe I can. Nah, I don't know. I don't think I can clean this up right now. Maybe I'll wait here. Maybe they forgot I'm here. Yeah, I think they must have did. Oh, I don't want to die. She's going to rend me and I'm dead. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh. I want to kill this Azir. Oh, that was so close. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Nice. Use my Poro. Oh, it hit the Varus. Oh baby, nice. Man, I don't know, I think Assassin's on this map, but oh, you can't back unfortunately. Okay, so it's like Aram where you can't back. But I feel like Assassin's, like a Katarina especially, is so good on this because it gives me, I have like a whole new ability right now being able to just dash around, it's just pretty insane. Oh, I hit her, I hit her. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dash on that, that's a little too crazy I think. I'm just gonna wait in here and see if I can maybe find the opportunity. I don't think they know I'm in here. So I'm pretty sure I can kill her off, I, but I'll die though. I don't know. There it is. All right, I'm getting out of there. I don't want anything to do with that anymore. Oh, he's dead. That's unfortunate. But I'll throw my Poro, hit the Varus. Nice, I hit him. Go in on him. Oh, peace out, peace out, peace out. No problem. You know what? I need this healing thing right here. I want to get both of them, actually. Man, Katarina is so much fun on this, because I can use my Poro as the engage. I don't even have to use my E as the engage. I can just use it again as I finally go in, and it's just a whole extra damage, and I love it. I don't know. I think Katarina is, is just so cool on this map. What the? Did you just see that guy fly across? Wait, where am I? Oh, okay. I thought he, I, was, I actually pressed F to go to the Poro King guy, but I think he died as I used it. Okay, watch. I'll throw my D. <laughs> throw my D. And let's do it. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought I had my ultimate, but I, oh my good, I, I pressed R and I'm like, why am I just standing there? Okay, so apparently I don't have my ultimate. Well, today I learned. Uh, I'll get this, because why not? I have the first thing for it, so might as well just finish it off. Man, after all those cool plays, I have to go ahead and mess up in such a stupid way. My goodness, can't believe I thought I had my ultimate. I was a little surprised that it was still on cooldown. I really thought I would have it by then, but it's okay, I guess. So this game mode usually doesn't take too long. I would say between 10 to 20 minutes it, it lasts usually. I mean, I played one before this, I played Jace, and the enemy team actually had Katarina, which is where I kind of got the idea to try Katarina, because it just, it looked like so much fun. And that game lasted, I think, about 17 minutes maybe or something. So this one's already 10 minutes in and pretty far in, so I think this one might be a bit shorter. But let's find out. Ooh, nice. Oh, I missed the portal completely. Whatever, let's get this tower. 
Come on, team. Team, get this tower, team. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, nice. Oh, there's a little Poro Clan. We almost got a Poro King again. I want the Poro King. Wait, what, what the hell? I don't know what I hit. Okay, I did hit him. Oh, let me kill you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I could have Hourglassed. Whatever, I, I was pretty dead anyway. I was way too deep. Regardless, I don't know. I, think, I don't think Hourglass would have done anything except for just stall my demise. <clears throat> Alright, let me see. What can I do next? Uh, kind of want to get this actually because they have quite a bit of magic damage. They have Mouse Heart, they have Azir, they have. I don't know, Brahm's magic damage, right? Uh, Varus, so some of his spells are magic damage. So I think that could be a pretty good item here. Go ahead and pick that up quickly. Um, actually, you know what? No, I don't want. Okay, it's too late. It's too late. I, I messed up. But not really. I, I still think it's a pretty decent buy. So, okay, let me see. Let me see if I can sneak in somewhere and maybe get my Pearl on someone and teleport in and just make some big plays. LCS big plays right here coming up. Alright, hold on. Hourglass. Oh! I could have got a Penta there! Oh well. That was pretty good. See, this is why Hourglass is just so good on this on this map, and especially on Katarina here too, because it's just... Look, oh, how good that was. That, it's, that was exactly what I needed. Nice. Okay, get this tower. So, I mean, this game mode is pretty fun. I mean, it's not as fun as maybe Earth. Um, but it, I think it's actually pretty close. And the reason I think it's pretty close is because... Oh, man. And the reason I think it's pretty close is because it's it's fast. It's a fast game mode. It's not something that takes too long. So you can kind of hop in. Oh, if that hit the Varus, I would have killed him so hard there. No, I can actually teleport to the Poro King when he gets a little deeper in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill back here. Wait for them to get too close to the Poro King. And I'm gonna talk okay, like right now. Oh, the Mouse are ultimate. Dude. Oh, okay. You know what I need then? I need... Oh, you can't get QSS, can you? Oh, no, you can't. I'm, gonna, I'm getting QSS, that's ridiculous. I'm not letting this Malzahar kill me anymore. That is getting so annoying. Alright, nice, nice. I think this game might actually be over, I'm not really sure. Uh, I think it's actually over. This Poro King is gonna do some serious work. Some, oh, what's, what's his damage? Oh, he only has 57 damage, but he tanks quite a bit. Well, that's actually it. That was a fast game. But again, that is pretty much what this new game mode is. It's a lot of fun. It's really quick, which is what I like about it. It's pretty much ARAM, but with just a bit more additional fun. So if you're a fan of ARAM, I think you'll absolutely love this. And if you're a girl, I know you girls like these Poros, man. I know girls go crazy about Poros, so you'll love this mode. Um, but again, that's pretty much what this is, guys. And, uh, okay, it's not over, is it? Well, that's awkward. I just did my whole, like, outro and everything, but the game's not even over. Okay. Just top up to the Poro King here. Oh, I missed them. Okay, it's over. Alright, guys, so that's pretty much what it is, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to this game mode coming out pretty soon. I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, again, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you for the next video. Peace.